Hello, my dear Need Warriors. If you are thinking, is 160 plus really possible, then this video is exactly meant for you. If you are scoring below 100 marks and are doubting yourself, can I really get above 160 marks in just two months? This video is definitely again just for you. If you apply the right strategies in the last coming few months, you can definitely push your score up. And I'm not just trying to motivate you out here, but actually this plan works. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because over the past few years when I have been training kids, I have obviously trained all kinds of students, be it below average, be it the toppers, be it those students who have completely lost, you know, any kind of hope that they can actually do anything at all, you know, in physics. And remember, physics is going to decide whether you are going to get selected in a government medical college, AIMS, AFMC or not. Because if you even score full marks in biology and even a very good score in chemistry, but your physics marks are not up to the mark, then you will definitely lose out on your government medical college seat. So obviously physics is going to be that booster subject which will help you achieve your dream college. So definitely we can do few things in the last few weeks which will actually end up boosting your score. So having trained so many kids, I will tell you what strategies I have applied with all these kids who were able to go from below average level to 160 plus in just a matter of two months. And yes, to know these strategies, make sure you smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel. So when you smash the like button, it's a small Guru Dakshina that you give me. Thank you so much for doing that. We all start these strategies with a reboot workshop for NEET 2024 aspirants where myself, then Gopika ma'am, Baswarat sir, Diksha ma'am, all of us are going to give you those subject specific strategies on how to clear your backlogs, how to actually reboot your NEET game, how to actually scale up your level in all the subjects and finally conduct a test on 25th of February to see where you stand. It's all a part of the NEET Crash Course 2.0. The link is there in the description box. Now, all these strategies start off with your daily plan because if your plan is not right, then no matter what you do, you might not end up, you know, really enjoying the subject. And one of the most common things which many students say, sir, I get bored while studying physics or I'm just not liking studying the same thing, you know, throughout the day. It's okay. There is no hard and fast rule that you have to study the same topic throughout the day. You can mix and match topics. Sometimes you can study electrostatics with gravity or maybe you can study AC waves with sound waves and, you know, waves on a string. And sometimes you can also study a chapter, uh, you know, in two or three days. That's okay. Maybe you can dedicate four to five hours a day per chapter or, you know, per day. And then you can complete it in a matter of two to three days. And the remaining time you can use it for biology or chemistry. So when you have changed, then your energy levels are in check. And there is a good chance that you might feel very good, motivated, refreshed throughout the day because there is a subject which is changing. So it's perfectly fine to change subjects and study multiple chapters of different subjects in one single day. Okay. And it's very important that you always boost your confidence. So whenever you're picking physics specifically for the very first time, or maybe, you know, after a long time, or you have too many backlogs and you're scared of physics specifically, then start off with a very easy piece lemon squeezy chapter something which you will be very sure of or very confident of because if you pick a very high weighted chapter but it is very difficult then you will lose all the confidence so the main thing is to gain back that confidence prepare with easy chapters first maybe one or two and then you can start off with high weightage very important must do chapters so obvious question is which are those chapters right so here is the priority order list these are the most important chapters which I have put up in the red. Bead, work power, energy, rotational mechanics, gravitation, thermodynamics, current, electricity, moving charges, ray optics, dual nature, semiconductor logic gates. Then comes the second priority. Units and dimensions, kinematics, loss of motion, thermal properties, waves on a string, uh, right sound, electric potential charges, wave optics, nuclei, all these things. And yes, then you get the third one, 
uh, which is the third priority and yes slightly lower weightage than the rest of the two kinetic theory of gases shm electromagnetic waves electric charges and fields magnetic materials and matter electromagnetic induction and fluids so this is your priority order always start with the red first then go with the yellow and then go with the green so that will ensure that even if you do not get time to complete all the chapters at least the high weightage and more important chapters are definitely done and dusted okay no need to go sequentially from chapter 1 2 3 4 all right having said this never ever look for a video of which chapter to skip because that's the most common you know search trend these days okay let me google which chapters i can skip and you watch a video then you watch some other video or see another article you can skip these chapters and when you watch four or five videos you end up skipping almost every chapter and then you are like okay what do i exactly study now because i'm back to ground zero so don't watch such videos right now now is not the time maybe you can watch it just two weeks before and that too if you have not done anything but i'm pretty sure you will do a lot because you're watching this video by your own captain spheres and you will not find the need to skip any chapters so please do not laze around and do not be you know too comfortable so that uh, you do not uh, end up missing a lot of chapters you have to have to study each and every chapter your target is to complete the entire syllabus if you make your mindset right now that i will skip a chapter you will end up skipping not just that chapter you will end up skipping few more chapters so don't even have that mindset that's the very important thing next thing how to develop concepts because physics is all about concepts it's not just memorizing something and just writing it down like your board examinations so obviously you will have to understand it and to understand it the best way always remember some examples like you are learning say for example thermal physics you should know where it is applied what are the applications and where is the formula used what is the real life example of it are there any phenomena based on it so when you remember examples and you relate it to something else you will remember it in a much better way and such a way which you can actually understand and whenever you want to understand grasp a concept never go for a very difficult problem first start with easy then slowly scale up the level slowly scale up the level and then have mixed concepts then slightly more difficult and then you can go to pyqs and never just you know assume that you know it try to write it down when you try to write it down that's when you realize oh wait a minute i didn't understand this part of this sentence or what does this part of this formula mean so when you write you actually question yourself more so don't just read read that is not how you build concepts you have to practice and when i say practice it also involves solving many questions many students feel if i read the chapter and make notes that's enough i understood the concept i'll practice few questions definitely that's not going to build your concept you have to have to practice just like a doctor when they learn how to perform an operation they have to practice otherwise you know it will be very scary nobody will trust such a doctor who has not practiced another important thing for concept building is reverse thinking if you can solve the problem like this how do you solve the problem in the reverse way can you manipulate few data points in that question and make a new question out of it so if you manipulate that definitely is going to build your concepts next is your notes a lot of you are probably going to hear make a lot of notes make the notes like this but in fact i tell you don't make too lengthy notes now is not the time especially if you are watching this video just few months before the examination make crisp notes maybe just two page notes that's perfectly okay notes does not mean you have understood each and everything notes is for revision you have completed a chapter tomorrow is the exam quickly you go through the notes one by one and you revise all the chapters notes is also that confidence builder part of the chapter where you can finally tell yes i'm done with this particular chapter never make notes when you are learning a chapter in fact make the notes once you have done the pyqs not any time before that because before that you are still not you know at such a level where you have understood the chapter or have a grasp of the chapter completely so try to keep the notes part towards the end that is preferably after solving the pyqs 
all right and make sure you are not downloading just the notes from anybody else make your own notes obviously writing it by your own hand will make sure that it enters your hand okay talking about speed and formulas that's another common common thing which obviously you all will need for scoring 160 plus see remember one thing whenever it comes to learning formulas start with easy problems for example time of flight formula substitute speed substitute g substitute theta find time then height formula substitute this substitute that so solve many problems based on pure substitution write the formula a few times you will not forget it and very important thing please remember the values of all the constants don't expect the examiner will give the values sometimes you know you will be shocked that oh this value i thought will be given but it was not given so that will definitely bring down your speed and remember some tricks or shortcuts to remember all these things and specifically tables log values trigonometric values of all the sine cos tan of different angles you should know this in fact you should practice it every day so that uh, you know subconsciously it will be there in your head and yeah please be strong at basic maths just watch a youtube video or if you are already in the crash course or any course make sure you watch those classes within a matter of just 2 to 3 days i think you will become moderately uh, confident about the basic maths part you cannot ignore basic maths because then you will feel that there is something which you are lacking you know in um, other chapters and yeah please do not use calculators get used to solving in the rough and make sure your rough work is legible because in the actual exam if you mix up the calculations mix up the rough work that's it you're going to get negative marks okay keep that in mind very good then another thing how many questions should you practice and what about mock tests i would say for a small chapter let's say like elasticity or something maybe around 50 70 questions are good enough but for a big chapter like rotation you will have to solve around 180 to 200 questions easily if you talk about pyqs you should solve at least 10 to 15 pyqs for a small chapter and for a big chapter you might end up solving 40 50 pyqs that should be the rough scale of solving the number of problems and whenever you solve problems never read it never just check the solutions behind always solve it yourself and if you're not able to solve it check the hint just few lines and then try to solve it on your own write write and write no reading it's always writing that's when the practice counts and when you are giving mock tests try to experiment with the physics paper try to give physics in the first then at the end sometimes you might just solve a part of the physics paper then the hard part of the physics paper in the end or maybe you go sequentially experiment with different strategies and see what works best for you because now you still have time even if your score drops it's okay at least you know this will not work in the exam try to solve a very difficult paper try to solve a very easy paper and see how your score gets affected and what would have been the best way to attempt that paper main thing is to select the right questions and give it the right amount of time even if you do that your score can be maximized it's not about solving each and everything remember that now having said that i want every one of you to take a screenshot of this or probably take a picture of this maybe i can just move away a little bit and put it up on your desk neat is not your dream it's my love it's my love what's your love it's aims or afmc so this motivation is very important and this is what will drive you to study physics or else you, if you love just the other two subjects or just one subject you completely ignore one subject your dream will just remain a dream it will not become a reality so let that college remind you that yes i need to study i need to you know make sure i master all the subjects and let me also give you a test schedule of the next entire two months of when you should give which test and that will help you keep your scores in check and also make you realize your mistakes and that analysis of the test is very very important starting off from 3rd of march you have the part test till basically 14th of april and then you have the full syllabus test starting off you know towards the mid of april till the end of uh, april and right till the first week of may these mock tests are the bare minimum mock tests that everybody should give as a part of the neat crash course 
and also remember there will be additional test series which will be a part of the crash course which i have not put it up on this slide but it will definitely come keep that in mind so this is the test schedule which you should be a part of in the neat crash course then talking about the neat physics schedule this is how it looks like right from all the 12th standard chapters to the 11th standard chapters uh, so this is the order of all the chapters which will be done right in the neat crash course by all the amazing teachers just specifically for neat 2024 then this is your chemistry schedule which you're going to follow right from the 11th standard topics till the 12th standard topics and similarly you have the biology schedule as well you can definitely check out the link which is there in the description box which will give you a detailed review of all the schedules and the uh, you know syllabus coverage and everything so remember this is a part of the neat crash course 2.0 where the entire syllabus will be covered with the part test which i just showed you and the full syllabus test all in the rank test doubt solving is also a part of it you can ask unlimited doubts there are mentors who will answer within minutes and you will get study material pdf Tathwa material, assignments of all the chapters, PDF notes of all the chapters, revision classes, PYQ classes, as well as the mock test and the final final strategies and the tips just before the examination. All of this is a part of the crash course. Yes, there are two variants. One is just called the crash. The other one is the crash plus. Crash plus comes with the personal teacher which will additionally be given to you if you need additional help with regards to academics and non-academic doubts. But if you are okay with not having another personal teacher, then you can just go with crash course. So the usual prices for crash is 8,000 and for crash plus is 24,000. But as an early bird offer, if you register now, you are going to get it just for 4,000 rupees for the quality content that you are going to get and the crash plus is for 12000 rupees so if you are just wondering where you can uh, join or enroll into the crash course just go down in the description box below right over here you can see neat crash course 2024 click on the link and say view course plans and say buy full course for the crash just click on this particular link and there you go you can say 4000 rupees using this coupon and you can choose whichever method you want to join into the crash course right so that's what the need 2024 2.0 crash course is all about which has everything that you need for cracking your need examination in the next two months also remember my dear warriors i want every one of you who probably just got motivated just looking at the slide and also was impressed looking at the plan of the tests or even the schedule and even the things which you might be doing wrong and now you realize okay these are the things which i should never do please put it up in the comments neat is not just my dream whichever college either aims or afmc or jipmer is my love i want to know what is your love whether it is afmc jipmer or maybe some other private college or some other government medical college whatever you are love is because i want every one of you to make this dream into a reality so let this dream not remain a dream okay so everybody i'm going to see you in the comments down below and let's crack it let's let's get as many marks as possible in physics in the coming few months and definitely i'm going to be there with all of you in this particular channel so make sure you are subscribed and smash the like button down there thank you very much bye bye hasta la vista